Welcome back to another video, gentlemen. What I want to be talking about today is six things that you should stop doing as a man. And this is my second part to the original video that I made, which was four things that you should stop doing as a man. But I want to add a few more points today. So let's get straight into it, shall we? So the first thing is expecting people to treat you the way you treat them. You're going to encounter a lot of personalities, a lot of people that you thought were good friends will eventually prove themselves to be the opposite. People that you meet in the workplace who poke and prod to see how much they can get away with. Managers at the workplace. I mean, you're going to meet all kinds of different people. And what you need to do as a man is have, you know, realistic expectations. Don't think that everyone's going to treat you nicely because they won't. Some people out there are just idiots, rude, disrespectful. And yet it's up to you to vet those people and kick the ones that you don't like out of your life or the ones that disrespect you. You know, I get messages from guys sometimes who tell me, hey man, this guy who I thought was my friend is picking on me in front of other people. And I'm like, well, why are you still hanging around with him? Why are you still around this dude? I told him the first thing you should do is the moment any disrespect comes up, the first time you pull him to the side, be like, I don't, I don't respect that, I don't appreciate that. You either stop doing that or I'm not gonna be your friend anymore. And that's it, and if they carry on, you walk away. You stop hanging around with people like that. Okay, so stop thinking that everybody has your best interest at heart, that everybody cares about you and is gonna treat you nicely, because they won't. Some people will walk all over you if you allow them to. Okay. The second point is thinking that success will come fast. Boy, oh boy, did I make this mistake, especially in my early 20s. And, you know, social media has a part to play in creating those expectations. And I've talked about this before, where a lot of young guys, 19, 20, 21, think they're going to be rich within the first three months of starting a business. I used to think like that early on in my 20s. I used to think, right. If I focus on this for 90 days, I'm going to make 10,000 a month. But the reality is making money is hard. Now, are there more opportunities in this day and age to make money? Absolutely. But don't think it's going to be a walk in the park. Absolutely not. It's going to take quite a lot of time. And I've talked about Think and Grow Rich before. Um, you know, there's a chapter in the book where Napoleon Hill basically says that most men enter their financial stride in their 40s and 50s. Not 21, 22. 40s and 50s. And that is true. I know times have changed since the book was written. But, you know, most men aren't going to make six figures or multiple six figures in the early 20s. That usually happens in the late 30s, early 40s. Okay, so it's not going to be a walk in the park. Don't have this expectation because otherwise you're going to start working hard. And then after three months, when you don't see the result that you want, you're going to quit. When what you should have done is said, you know what? I'm going to give this three to five years of proper work. I'm not going to fuck around and have unrealistic expectations. I'm going to do my due diligence. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to network. I'm going to do everything in my power. And I'm not going to keep checking the results. Oh, it's only been, it's been three months. Where's the Ferrari? You know, where is it? No, you can't think like that, gentlemen, okay? The next thing a man should not do is have a victim's mindset. Oh, you know, it's all my fault because I should have done this. And You can take responsibility, but then being a victim is just taking it to the wrong degree. I mean, you're becoming negative now. Now you're ruining your self-esteem. And I made a video prior to this called The Power of the Subconscious Mind, and I talked about how damaging it can be if you start uttering negative things about yourself out loud. No one likes me because of this. Uh, you know, my parents hate me, this, that. You know, I never succeed at anything I try. Don't say things like that. In fact, I don't even want to say it now in the video because I believe in how powerful uttering negative statements or how damaging, sorry, they can be to your success in your life. So don't be a victim, it's not attractive. Okay, it's not going to bring you the results you're looking for. It's a zero ROI investment. 
you think you're gonna feel better. No, all you do is dig yourself a, a deeper hole. All right? The next thing a man should not do is avoid hard work. Hard work is necessary, gentlemen. And I know this sort of crosses with my previous point about expecting success to come quickly. The issue is a lot of men today, they just wanna find an opportunity, a passive income opportunity that will prevent them from having to work hard. It doesn't work that way. You know, there's a lot of scams out there. A lot of people selling, you know, high P business models. I've encountered some in the past. I've been sold some bad investments in the past. I've been in some bad investments in the past. And what I've come to learn is that hard work is necessary. And if you want to be an entrepreneur, if that's what you want to do, you got to understand that as you are building your business, you need a job. You absolutely need a job. And I know society often looks down at, you know, factory jobs or working in a restaurant or whatever. There's a sort of stigma around doing that. Oh, he's a failure. He's a... Listen, the founder of Gymshark, um, his name's Ben. I don't know his last name, but there was a period he was working as a Pizza Hut delivery driver as he was working on Gymshark. You can't be proud and broke, fellas. You can't be. You need to have a job as you are working on your side hustle. Now, eventually, when it makes you a lot more money than your job does, then you can walk away. That's the smart thing to do at that point. But you're gonna have to work hard, find yourself a warehouse job, whatever. You know, work 50, 60 hours a week, stack that bread. And then eventually, if, if being an entrepreneur is what you wanna do, not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur, I get it. But if that's what you wanna do, then only when your business starts making you enough money to allow you to walk away from your job and be able to pay your bills and eat and survive, then you can do that, okay? The next point, the next thing a man should not do is to think that he knows it all. Boy, oh boy, is that a mistake I made in my early 20s. I was like, yeah, you know, nah, trust me, just trust me, I know what I'm doing. I was avoiding advice from my dad, advice from people that were older than me, uh, you know, in, in anything, to be fair with you, it doesn't have to be in, in any specific area in life. But sometimes you have an ego about you, you think you know it, you know it, or when, listen, I get it. Sometimes people aren't qualified to give you advice. If you're, let's say, going to someone who is broke and you're telling him how to make money, I mean, he's not really gonna be able to answer that question properly. Or someone has had seven to eight divorces, whatever, and he's telling you how to, you know, keep a relationship going. I mean, the odds are he's not really the most, you know, qualified person to talk about that, right? But there are people that are older than you that have been through shit and are able to direct you in a better direction from their mistakes. They'll be like, oh man, I fucked up. Especially if it's your family, whatever, people close to you, because they're not really gonna give you advice that will mess you up. Most of the time, they want you to do better than them, especially your dad, right? So just being coachable, taking advice better. There's a quote that says, uh, the moment you say, I know it all, is the end of your growth, and I love that. It's true. You can't be like, no, I know better. No, 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 I don't wanna listen. No, no, no. Someone tells you, hey, listen, man, that person's fucked you over, like, you know. You gotta, you gotta be careful, you gotta watch your back. You can't be like, no, 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 I know. Sometimes you need a different perspective, a bird's eye view. And last but not least, number six, is spending money on dumb shit before you could comfortably afford it. And I know this could tie into thinking that you know it all, um, but this was a mistake I made early on in my 20s. No, I'm just telling you my experiences, honestly. Spending money on dumb shit when I didn't really have the money to buy it comfortably. Every time I would buy something stupid, it would put me in a bit of a difficult position. And I was just trying to, you know, oh, look at me. Trying to portray an image. I'm honest enough to tell you these things. I have nothing to hide, you know? Maybe I shouldn't have bought my BMW at the time that I did. I could have waited a little bit longer, you know? So it's things like that that mess guys up. We want to put on a show. A lot of guys who don't have the money are getting cars they can't afford because they think it's going to impress the ladies or it's going to make other people view them in a better way. 
Does it do that? Possibly. People do judge, absolutely. But should you give a fuck what people think? No, you shouldn't. Now, as I've matured, I couldn't care less what other people think of what I'm driving or what I'm wearing. Of course, present yourself in the best possible way, but you don't need to break the bank to do that. You know, it doesn't cost a lot to have a nice crisp white shirt, some black trousers, some loafers, it doesn't cost a lot. But going above and be buying designer brands, going into your overdraft, financing a car that you can't afford, all that is dumb. Okay? So I hope these six tips have helped you fellas. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. We're almost at a thousand now. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.